Shut up and sit down. Hi guys, welcome back. It's been a few more weeks than I was maybe expecting, but as promised, I want to try to make more videos. I'm still recovering from my um, tennis elbow surgery. So I was in two different kinds of splints, two weeks each, so four weeks, and now I've been in like a wrist thing for about a week. Um, as you saw in the title, I'm gonna do a Killstar haul. I've got a few things down here. Um, I, first time ever buying anything off Killstar. I think what really triggered it was I really, really wanted the uh, casket carry case, so I did get that. So the first thing that I got, um, it was somewhere between the Killstar carry casket, casket carry case, and I had seen this wallet that I really wanted because I had needed one, but it's shaped like a little coffin, and it's incredibly cute. It feels nice. The inside lining is maybe a little bit cheap. Um, there's some um, pockets on this side for cards and things. All of my stuff's in here, so I'm kind of covering it. But then on the other side is a change zipper and then a spot for um, coupons or cash or whatever you carry. When I first got it, the zipper kind of was a little bit sticky around some of the edges, but I've been using it for about two weeks. It's not like I leave the house a lot with COVID anyway, but um, it has kind of loosened up a little bit where it's not sticking on all of the corners anymore. And it's kind of gotten um, a little bit easier to use in a, in a pinch. One of the other things that I'd gotten that was kind of more of a random purchase was this cup. It's a matte plastic. It's got a screw-on lid and then it comes with a plastic straw. It says, I myself am strange and unusual. The moment that I saw it, I decided I absolutely 110% had to have it. One of my favorite movies growing up was Beetlejuice. Still one of my favorite movies. So they've got a lot of different like design prints on the cups, but that one was the only one that really spoke to me. I haven't really used the cup yet. Um, the whole point of getting the cup was I had like a 32 ounce um, stainless steel water jug that I normally use <clears throat> and I'll usually fill it with like water water flavoring but it doesn't fit that well in the car so I initially got this as like a take along because I'm always really really thirsty and dehydrated um, so this was something that I could grab quickly toss some ice and some water in it and go when I have to go for physical therapy and things like that and then one of the biggest things was the Kill Star casket carry case. It's like a carry-on size, shaped like a casket. I'm sure a lot of you have probably seen it on Instagram um, and other places. It is beautiful. I am not sad that I got it. I'm a little disappointed in the quality. I feel like a lot of the reviews a year ago when it first came out and sold out really fast, um, it was maybe a little bit better and I don't want to say for sure, but I kind of feel like some of the Killstar stuff feels a little bit cheap for how much it actually costs. Um, it's got like a handle here, but then it's got one of, oh my arm, <laughs> it's got one of the ones that go up and down um, so that you can pull it behind you because it does have four wheels on the bottom. I can't lift it too well because of my arm right now um, to show all of the wheels or the inside of it, but there's plenty of videos reviewing, reviewing it. Um, one of the biggest things that kind of disappointed me was the Killstar logo on the front. Um, like the plastic area that's indented where the Killstar metal piece like sits in didn't quite fit the piece. It's kind of off center. I mean, it looks good on camera because um, I did fix it a little bit, but this side especially is off with the little bat wing area this side kind of fits in pretty perfectly um but it's kind of inside the suitcase there's just some metal pieces that fold over on the inside of the plastic and considering that this was super wobbly it's not wobbly now but it was like really wobbly and like you could get things up underneath it, it i was really worried that if for some reason i had to check it because you know sometimes on like smaller flights between places um they won't let you take larger suitcases um, even though they're carry-on size approved onto the plane, they'll put it in when you go. 
Um, I was kind of afraid that it would like not be treated well and these might get hooked on someone else's backpack or something and get ripped off. So what I actually did was I rubber cemented the inside. So the lining has like a zipper in it. Um, I opened up the zipper and I, um, where the folds are, I stuck some cement glue underneath the folds and then over the top of them. So it was like really cemented in there to make sure it didn't move around or it couldn't get ripped off very easily. And then the other thing is like on the K, you guys can't see because I already fixed it. But where the black is filled in on the lettering, there was some of the black paint was chipped off and you could see the silver. So I actually just took some black nail polish with a um, toothpick and like filled it in. I should probably do like a small coat of clear just in that spot to make sure that the nail polish itself doesn't chip. But um, I'm very happy I got it. I absolutely love it. It's a unique item. So I feel like you're paying for the uniqueness of the item and the fact that it's Killstar. Um, more than the quality, because the quality is not that great. I've got like London Fog luggage and things like that that are way better quality for around the same price that this guy was. Um, just not super impressed with the quality, but I do absolutely still love the suitcase and would recommend it to anyone who does travel or really, really wants this. I would say yes, just jump in and it, it's okay to go ahead and get it. It's not bad, it's just not worth 120 USD. So. One of the last home items that I'd gotten, or non-clothing items, um, they had put the Cthulhu stuff back in. I kind of want the blanket, but I've got a really nice like gray brocade blanket on there right now that I really like. But it's the soft, like velvety Cthulhu print. Um, I think you can kind of see Cthulhu here. <laughs> um, I absolutely love these pillowcases. We've been using them for about a week now since we put them on the bed. I like how soft it is and stuff. My fiance kind of hates it, so he flips it and uses one of the cotton ones on top of it. He just doesn't like the way it feels on his face. But um, I really love it. It's really pretty. I still kind of maybe might get the blanket to just throw over the top of the bed. But dimension-wise, I don't, I don't think it'd fit. And then clothing-wise, I had gotten two items, two dresses. One was part of like the extra 30% off clearance, um, and one of them was like a, a newer release when I had gotten it. Um, the one that I like the most was the Under Your Spell dress. Um, I'm gonna have to insert a picture, like, here or something when I'm trying to edit this. Um, it's not just cut out, it's burnt out. So it's see-through in the parts where the pattern is. Um, it's got sort of, um, it's got, like, the moon, some bats, some roses, things like that. One of the things that I liked the most about the dress was the square collar, which you guys can't really see. There we go. Um, it's got like a square neckline, which I really, really liked, but I'd never bought any clothes off of Killstar before. So each of these dresses is a different size. I had no idea what to expect. Um, I, I've had to heavily alter both dresses to make them wearable for me. Um, I have a pear shape so I'm kind of small on the top and then I've got like some hips um, so I usually order so that things flare out nice on my hips and then I have to alter the top but this was like a ridiculous level of altering so I took off the ribbon um, that was on the chest right here for this dress and then I actually had to individually stitch some of the ruffles to make them a little bit tighter because the top half was so big that like there was no, it would just fall off my shoulders. Um, it, it wouldn't, it wouldn't stay in a square. It was like a weird, like off the shoulder looking thing. So I stitched and tightened the uh, ruffles around the neckline so that they were tight enough to hold their square form. Uh, and it actually ended up fitting really nicely. I've seen a lot of people complain where like their breasts don't fit into the top like the the line where the waist is or like the empire waist is is like over their boobs um since mine are smaller <laughs> it goes right underneath um, so it's kind but of after i altered it, i really do like that dress it's got some really really big like bell sleeves and stuff which is kind of nice and comfortable especially for summer it is really short i figured the killstar stuff was going to be really really short i think that's why i never really ordered killstar clothing before but it's really really short um so for me, I, I kind of wear like some kind of leggings or something like that underneath it, underneath it, or like really, really like opaque tights. 
Um, the other one that I had gotten was the Aisling, Aisling, Aisling party dress. Um, this one I'm still in the process of altering, but again, it was a top half problem. This one's actually a size bigger than the other one, but it, it, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to figure out how to fix it. So I've already had to stitch one of these ruffles in the front because it was, when they stitched it down, it, it like folded inside. So I had to fix that. And then the problem with the sleeves, this one's a little bit shorter so far, and you can see my white stitch where I'm trying to measure everything out, but these are too big. So when I put it on, like the whole thing like fell, like fell, <laughs> like the, the neckline was just gone. Like it had completely just drooped down. Um, like I was wearing like a really big tube top. It was terrible, but I'm tightening the sleeves so that they actually rest like on the shoulder where they're meant to be. And I'll put a picture again, like maybe here, cause there's some extra space, um, of what it's supposed to look like. The other thing that I might change is I do like the ruffles that come out on the bottom, but there's another layer of lace over the top of where the ruffly layer is that's just kind of flat and soft with some lace on the tip. I might take off that extra layer of lace between the two because I don't really like the super poofy tea party looking dress, so I might also take that out um, and then maybe once I'm finished altering both I'll post pictures on Instagram or something of how they fit. Um, size wise, I usually wear like a large top in women, sometimes extra large. If it's relaxed fit, usually a medium because I don't like my clothes to be super baggy and I don't like them to be super tight. Killstar sizing is a little bit weird for me. Anyway, um, the under your spell dress, I got an extra large because it does have a pretty big flare in the hips and it fit. Oh, it, it fit in the waist. It wasn't as tight as I would maybe like it. Usually I like things to fit a little bit tighter under my bust um, so that it like shows my waistline and then flares out. Um, so I did have to order that a little bit bigger than I normally would. Usually dresses end up being like a large if I want them to flare out a lot for my hips and then I sew the waist in. Um, the party dress, I actually got this one in an XXL because I know this type of fabric. I've got a dress like this but that dress is an extra large. This one ended up being an XXL. It fits perfectly around my waist and everything like that. So if it's impossible, their sizing chart is terrible. I don't think that I would ever really buy clothes off of Killstar again. Maybe just some of their knitwear has come like the sweaters look cute and I think they're really relaxed fit. So I might be able to get those in order down, but I don't really like how, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not, I like the way some of the clothes look, but I don't think that with how quickly they release, I don't think that the quality is really there or like some of the reviews I've seen in the past, it looks better than it is now. I don't, I don't know. I don't want to speculate too much, but um, all in all, I would probably buy more home goods. There's some teacups that are really cute, things like that. Um, luggage, purses, stuff like that, definitely, but clothes, probably not. Not personally anyway, but um, that was a lot. I talked really fast. Um, if you guys like that video, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more reviews of things that I'm buying um, besides just makeup, because I have a lot of makeup favorites over the last couple years that I will be doing some videos on and just um, some reviews and things. Um, but for now, I guess, bye guys.